Rear height left. Rear height left. Rear height left. Rear height left. No echo. If you are a Yamaha AVR owner, you need to make sure you turn this setting off because it does a lot of weird stuff with your speakers and adding some sort of weird delay and echo to it. Now, I'll tell you exactly how I found this out, but let's go over to the screen real quick so that we can see exactly what's happening. If we take the remote control and press the, uh, the little um, stripes button here, it brings up the option menu, okay? Scroll all the way down and hit on-screen information because we wanna see what is um, decoding and what sound mode is on. So right now, we have surround decoder and Dolby surround and PCM. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn AI, surround AI on, so you guys can hear the weird anomaly that it does, the weird, weird thing that it does. All right, so I've got the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, and that's this guy right here. This was the product that myself and Mr. Joe Intel created to help you get the best out of your Dolby Atmos home theater. So I just got this Yamaha A8A in the rack, and I was running the just the basic 5.1.4 uh, callout. It happens in all the speakers, but let's get closer to the right. rear heights. Rear height left. Rear height left. LFB. No echo. Rear height left. Rear height left. Let's rewind a little bit. Rear height left. Rear height left. When we turn surround AI off, there's no echo in the heights, rear heights. And when we turn it on, there's echo in the rear heights. So this is a perfect example of why everyone needs this toolkit because you don't know what your AVR is doing wrong. And you won't know until you run something in your system that is repeatable, the same thing over and over, and it is predictable. And we know where it's coming from because of the visual on-screen display. So in honor of this whole thing, we're gonna do 15% off the Spatial Toolkit. Go to spatialcd.com and use the code YPAL15 and get that as soon as you can. Now, one of the interesting parts is I don't like YPAL, and I just did a quick level match and if you don't know um, how to do that with the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, I'll leave links to our tutorials. Basically, I got it all level matched and it sounded better than the YPAL version that I ran the previous day. You know, you're getting a better experience without using the internal room correction in the Yamaha. Now, of course, I know you guys want me to run Magic Beans so we can do a Yamaha export from Magic Beans and all that functionality is already in and updated with Magic Beans. But yeah, if you have a Yamaha and you have surround AI on, then you've been getting echo all throughout everything you've watched in Dolby Atmos, which is a no-no. You gotta turn that off. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.